didn't say littles. I'm so excited to do church with you today. I'm Milo. <laughs> oh, I just got done walking Max. That's my dog and now he's so excited that church is starting. And he just wanted to say hello to all of you. But I can't wait to start with our most favorite part. Do you know what it is? That's it. We're going to do the Shoreline City Creed together. And we have some friends who are going to show us the motions while we do it. So let's all get up and do the Shoreline City Creed together. One, two, three. I am loved by God. I cannot earn it. I cannot lose it. In Christ, I am forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I am empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live for the glory of God. Great job! That was amazing! And now, do you know what's next? You got it! We're gonna do worship! He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know, know, that's what I know. That's what I know, know, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season, yeah. his plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid. for the party is to be an ice cream scooper. So I thought I better start practice scooping. I have this big tub of yummy vanilla ice cream to use for practicing. Oh, and this big spoon. Let's scoop. Man, this is harder than I thought. This ice cream is really hard. And this spoon isn't working. Do you see something else I could use? The ice cream scoop? Great idea! Here we go, let's scoop. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard. And this scoop isn't working either. I know what I can try. 
I can use this shovel. Surely it'll scoop this hard ice cream. Uh, not even the shovel can scoop this hard ice cream. I might have to wait for it to soften up a bit, but I want to practice scooping now. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Having some trouble, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I told Kai I would help him with the ice cream sundae party plans by scooping the ice cream. But the ice cream is much too hard to scoop. I've tried everything. That does sound hard. It's true. I have a story about someone else with a hard thing to do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Ugh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you want to hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan, and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey Ollie! Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Wow, that was amazing. I learned so much today about how Joseph trusted God's plan even when it was really, really hard. And guess what's next? It's table talk time. Do you know what that means? That means I'm gonna ask you some questions about what we learned today and you're gonna yell the answer back. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Question one, who loves us and is always with us? God, that's so good. No matter what, God is always with us and loves us so much. When should we trust God's plan? You got it, always. Even when it's really hard, when we're sad or we're mad, we can always trust God's plan for us. Can we still help others even when it's hard? Yes! Just like Joseph did, we can still love and help others even when we're having a really hard time. And you can practice that this week. 
just loving and serving your family and friends, even if you're having a hard time. And now I'm super excited. I want everyone to welcome in Ms. Crystal to help us learn our memory statement. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Milo. Crystal here. And I'm just so honored to be at Table Talk Time with all of you. We're so happy to have you, Miss Crystal. <laughs> happy to be here. I was wondering. Okay. If you could tell us all our memory statement and help us with the motion so we can remember. I would love to, boys and girls. Today's lesson has been amazing. And our memory statement for this week is that God loves us and is always with us. Isn't that true, Milo? That's so true. Okay, here are the motions. You can just follow me, okay? Okay. God loves us and is always with us. Oh, that's good. I like that. Yes, let's try it again. God loves us and is always with us. Wow, boys and girls, you're doing a great job. That was so good. I'm going to remember God loves us always with us. Yeah, I'm going to remember that too. <laughs> okay, well, we had so much fun today, and we love you so much, Sharon City Little. But that's all we have, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.